Hello all, and welcome to a post-work week review. I know I haven't uploaded anything recent. I'm going to try to get around that because, you know, I changed my schedule, so it's like I'm really having trouble adjusting to it, having insomnia, and then I'm sleeping in way too late, so I only have a few hours before work starts. So I need to go and figure out when's the best time to kind of upload videos and and do it then, I suppose. But anyways, work week is done, and I'm going to dub this review the post-fish tank live review. So I've been watching Sam Hyde's like fish tank live, live streaming reality TV experiment and like this is like the first reality television thing that I've watched in over 10 years. It's the first reality television thing that I've enjoyed in longer than 10 years. So I think, um, yeah. Why? Because one, it's, it's very ad hoc. <laughs> you know, very unprepared. There is a level of scripting, but it's very seat of the pants, like most Sam Hyde productions. And yeah, it's it's just brilliant. It's um it's human, passionate, dark, light, and you know, everything. And um yeah. You know, Sam Hyde's kinda got in a bad reputation. He's it's amazing that he even came back from the kind of cancellation that he had back in 2016. And, um, you know, I, I, I've never been a real fan of his comedy. I've known of his existence because I've known plenty of people who really like him. And this is really the first thing that I ever watched of his in depth. And, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's quite amazing. But anyways, kind of rambling on, what am I reviewing? Well, I'm not going to be reviewing another Bud Light Hard Seltzer because that one last week just like completely traumatized me in ways I don't want to recall ever again. So I saw this at the supermarket doing my shopping after work today. It's 11 o'clock right now, by the way. And I realized, you know, I've never really reviewed Corona fairly. I've always had it in the clear bottles, very old clear bottles that taste like ass. See here. And this one has a Best Buy date of it, on it. Best Buy... November 2023, so still quite a bit of time. This is 4.6 ABV. This is probably the most common Corona, and you'll see in those clear bottles that get skunky really, really fast because they're clear. They get beer gets light struck. So I thought maybe I should try it in a can. Now I'm not going to be, you know, blown away by this. I can almost assure you that I won't because it is a light adjunct lager. You know, 4.6 ABV is going to be pretty much damn near water. And you know, but I also learned from last week that I really shouldn't go and drink a heavy beer an hour before bed. <laughs> or heavy, a hard seltzer as it, as it were. So yeah, 4.6. Hopefully this one, I won't wake up with a headache. You know, being that it's a tall boy. So, yeah, let's just get straight to this. I thought about pouring this into a Pilsner glass, but it's like, that one's such a pain in the butt to clean. I want something that's easy to clean. And besides, you know, it's a light lager. We know what it's going to taste like. It's going to taste like water, hot flavored water. So, a clear, bright yellow. Fizzy white head. Smell corn. Some grassy hops. Hops are actually kind of a, nicely apparent in the nose, actually. You know, those um, old world style grassy hops. So corn, cereal malts, grassy hops, maybe a hint of honey. You know. Pretty standard lager smells. Um, it's not strong smelling, but if you're expecting a 4.8 beer to be, I mean a 4.6 beer to be like really strong smelling, strong tasting, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you're probably going to be very disappointed by beers in general. On to the palate now, shall we?
No real off notes, but no real great notes either. You got some bitterness up front, biting carbonation. Some sweet malts that appear in the mid to finish. Kind of crackery. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's not great. You know, um, what tastes are there are very light and, you know, uh, it's light beer, of course it's going to be light. And you kind of just want a bit more flavor intensity. And if you have craft beers, you know that's something that can be something can be 4.6 and 4.6 and still have a pretty big bouquet and a pretty strong presence on the palate. This one doesn't. It's watery. But it's less watery than most light beers I've had, actually. I can kind of see why people go for that sort of aspect, you know. Um, compared to, like, say, Coors or Miller Light or Bud Light, where it really is watery on the palate. This one's watery, but just a hair less so. Of course, it is also slightly stronger, you know, 4.6 as opposed to 4.0 or 4.2, like most of those um, American-made adjunct light lagers. So that probably adds to it. But yeah, it's, um, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm... Well, I should say I'm not as disappointed as I thought I would be. Let's put it that way, you know. It's, it's a decent enough cap off for the end of uh, work week. So, Corona Extra. You know, when it doesn't have that skunkiness to it, it's actually not that bad. Not great. But it's not bad. It's better than a lot of light lagers I've had. So, yeah. That is your beer review um, for this late, late evening. Yeah. I'm going to stay up for another hour or two. Well, probably not another hour or two. Probably just another hour. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to um, more reviews, I guess. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to try to start uploading. Um, I have to just figure out when I can squeeze it in because of my change schedule and my body not handling that scheduling change too well. Well, anyways, that's your beer review. Cheers. Or salute, since this is a Mexican light lager, yeah? Salute.